In this video, I want to talk about expected value. So here's the formula for expected value. E of x, expected value, is equal to P1 times A1 plus P2 times A2 plus dot 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 all the way to Pn times An. N can be the 100th one, the 1000th one, the 10th one, or whatever, whatever it goes up to. So our P value is going to be the probability of that event happening. So when we're dealing with the expected value, we have various outcomes with this game or whatever you're dealing with. So P is the probability of that event happening. So A is the amount netted, positive or negative. This is calculated by having your winnings minus your costs. In these games, there's a concept of fair costs. So fair costs is when your expected value is zero. And it can be calculated by taking the expected value plus the cost of playing the game. So in this problem, it says Rachel and Rich play a game. Rich will roll a fair die, and if he rolls a one, two, or three, Rachel will give him $2. If Rich rolls a four or five, Rachel will give him $4. And if Rich rolls a six, Rich will have to pay Rachel $18. What's the expected value for Rich? And what is the expected value for Rachel? So to find the expected value, we multiply the probability of the event happening times the amount netted. Remember your net is your winnings minus your cost. In this one, there's no cost to play. So our cost would be zero. Now if you rolls a one, two, or three, remember on a dice, you roll one through six and you only get one of them as your result. So one, two, or three would be three options out of the six. So three over six or one half is the probability. And then he will get $2. That'll be his net. Now if he rolls a four or a five, that's two out of six or one third times how much he's gonna win. That's gonna be $4. And if he rolls a six, there's only one six on there, so it's gonna be one out of six. He has to pay Rachel $18. So in this case, he's gonna lose $18. So it's gonna be negative 18 there. So in the calculator, you can do one half times two plus one third times four plus one six times negative 18. That's going to give you a negative 0 0.67 if you round. So basically a loss of 67 cents. That is the expected value for Rich. Now for Rachel, again, if Rich rolls 1, 2, or 3, it's a 1 out of 2 chance. And then she will lose $2. So it's going to be negative 2. For like a 4 or 5 is 1 third chance. And she's going to lose $4. And then rolling a 6 is 1 out of 6 chance. And she's going to gain $18. So we multiply this out, we're going to get the same value, but just it's going to be positive. So overall, Rachel has the advantage. If we play this game, over and over again, it's expected that Rachel will win out. She will, over the long term, she will gain 67 cents. And in the long term, Rich will lose 67 cents. So this one says it costs $2 to play a spinner game at the carnival. Wherever the spinner lands, the player wins the amount listed. What's the expected value of this game? And what is the fair price for playing this game? All right, so we have a spinner. You spin it, it's going to land in one of two spots, where the $2 is in the red, or where the $8 is in the blue. So what's the probability of landing in the red? So that's one half of the circle. So that's going to be one out of two chance for landing on the red. 
And if it costs two dollars to play and I only get two dollars back, I'm netting zero. My winnings, two dollars, minus my cost, two dollars, is going to be zero. Now landing in the blue is also going to be one out of two. And I'm going to win eight dollars, but I paid two dollars to play, so I'm netting six dollars. So we have one half times zero plus one half times six. So it's going to give us zero plus three or three dollars. So again, if I play this game long enough over the long term, I expect to gain three dollars. Now, what is the fair price of playing this game? So we said that's going to be the expected value which is three here, plus the cost of playing the game, which will give us $5. Now if we check this out, let's say it was $5 to play this game, if you land on the two, so that probably is one half, so you would win $2, but you paid $5, so you would lose $3, land in the blue, again it's one half is the probability. It would give you eight dollars but you paid five so you would net three. So one half times negative three is negative three halves. And one half times three would be positive three halves. And negative three halves plus three halves would give you zero. So our expected value there would be zero if it costs five dollars to play the game. So in this scenario, neither the player nor the carney would have an advantage. Because in the long term, nobody would win anything. Now if you played one time, you could win because you got basically a 50-50 chance to win or lose. So some people will win, some people will lose, but overall the net overall v zero. So this says it costs three dollars to play a spinner game at the carnival. Wherever the spinner lands, the player wins that amount listed with the expected value of the game. Now this one we have four locations that the spinner can land on. Two of them are one dollar each. One spot is five dollars and one spot is ten dollars. Now since we have two red spots, we can combine that into one probability. So that's going to be half the circle because it's two fourths of the circle, give you one half. So you get one out of two chance. You win one dollar, but you spent three, so you technically lose two dollars. Land on the orange, that's going to be one out of four chance. You're going to win five, but you paid three, so you net two dollars. And then the blue, that's going to be one out of four chance landing there. And again, you win ten dollars, but you paid three, so you net seven. All right, so if you plug this in your calculator, one half times negative two plus one fourth times two plus one fourth times seven, it's going to come out to three dollars and fifty cents. This one says the school is selling five thousand raffle tickets for three dollars each. There is one prize of one thousand dollars and two prizes of two hundred fifty dollars each. What is the expected value of the game and what is the fair price of the ticket? All right so we have one winner that's going to win one thousand dollars. It's only one of the tickets so you get a one out of 5,000 chance of having that ticket. And you're gonna win 1,000, but you paid $3, so you net 997. Now for the $250 prize, there's two of those. So you get two out of 5,000 chance of getting those tickets. And you're going to win 250 but then you paid 3 so you're going to net 
247. Okay, so basically three people, three tickets are going to win. Everybody else is going to lose the three dollars that they paid. So that's going to be 4,997 people out of the 5,000. And they're going to lose three dollars. So in the calculator you can put in parentheses one over 5,000 or one divided by 5,000 times 997 plus parentheses 2 over 5,000, 2 divided by 5,000 times 247 and then plus 4,997 divided by 5,000 times negative 3. That's going to come out to negative 2.70 so a loss of $2.70 now to determine the fair price, we said that is the expected value, so negative two dollars seventy cents, plus the cost of playing. It's going to leave you with thirty cents. So the fair price of this is thirty cents, where you end up having the expected value being zero. So in this problem it says Kim buys a new smartphone for seven hundred dollars. The store offers her a one-year protection from accidental destruction for $70. The store determines that there is a 5% chance that her phone will break and will no longer work. What is the expected value of this insurance? So to solve this, we take the probability times the amount netted. So we get a 5% chance of it breaking. So 0.05. Now you would get the $700, but you paid $70. So you net 630. If it doesn't break, that's a 95% chance. It's a 0.95. And then you basically lost $70. Multiply that out, so we end up with 31.5 here and negative 66.5 which equals negative 35. So overall, you would lose $35. So this is, you know, if a million people take out this plan, on average, people will lose $35. Some people will gain the 630, and some people will lose the $70, but that would average out to a loss of $35 for the consumer. So I hope the problems that you saw today will help you understand expected value.